Hey, what's up? Tyler of Weekly Metal Reviews here with an album review. This time I'm going to be talking about The Wrong Side of Heaven and The Righteous Side of Hell, Volume 2, from Five Figure Death Punch. This comes out November 19th, 2013. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is the follow-up to, obviously, Volume 1, which came out in the summer. And uh, basically, Five Finger Death Punch made a second volume because they just wrote so many songs, and they just felt, you know, hey, let's not just eliminate some of these songs for just one album, let's make it a double album. So here we are with the second part. And, uh, you know, I reviewed the first part before. Huh. Yeah, that that was a fun review. Um, so I, I'm, I'm here to talk about the second one. Um, the reason why I'm here to talk about the second one is just because I, I, I wanted to hear this, see if there's, if there's any difference between this and the first one. There's not, not at all. It's five finger death punch. I mean, but I, I just feel that, to be honest with you, and I, I went in with this completely, you know, open. I, I didn't go in here thinking, oh, the first part was really mediocre, or five finger death punch is, you know, um, you know, kind of bland in my mind. Um, excuse me. I went into this open, you know, I I, I did not uh, go into this very biased or anything. Uh, I wanted to, you know, listen to the album and get some really good in input on it and stuff. And I just feel that there's nothing to this. And to be honest, I feel that this is the weakest stuff that Five Finger Death Punch has ever put out. Every song is literally structured exactly the same. I can't tell you what this one sounds like compared to another one on here. I mean, it's it starts off with a verse and then it's a chorus, verse, chorus, something else, verse, chorus or something. And, and, and the choruses all sound the same. There are these big, you know, hooks with with that you know I'm in Moody writes and stuff very very big very grand to try to suck you in and some of them are all right um, I, the only one that really stuck out to me was my heart lied that's probably the only half decent song on here but I wouldn't even call that decent to be honest with you it just I felt like this whole album was just the same thing over and over again I felt like compared to the volume one this is the b-sides this is the the songs that they just didn't that just were not up to snuff at all and it's just they don't they don't seem done they don't seem they just feel that something's missing there's not a, a song on here that's like you know saying lift me up that you know has a really catchy riff a really really cool chorus and stuff like that there's nothing on here like that nothing that sticks out um, you know, Battle Born was the first single, and it's just so meh. I mean, the lyrical content, you know, isn't isn't bad, you know, about soldiers and all that stuff. That's cool. But I just feel as, as a whole, the song is not very standout, and, and there's nothing really on here that's very standout in, in my mind. There's no riffs on here that really kind of, you know somewhat hook you like in the bleeding or lift me up or um i don't know hard to see or something like that i mean i'm not the hugest five finger death punch song fan but some some of their songs you know i i do somewhat enjoy a couple of them or take the riff in the chorus of american capitalist i love the way that they did that i love that chorus in that song say what you will um but there's nothing on here that really grabs you at all and just I, I'm not saying because, yes, they wrote all these songs at one time. I wasn't looking for drastic improvements or anything like that. I knew it was going to be in in a similar vein, but this is just too too similar. All the songs, it really, really blends together, and it just doesn't work. You don't feel anything from these songs. Uh, you don't feel like, wow, that song's cool or, you know... I mean, that song's awesome. It's really, really catchy or something. They, they all just are so bad. And I just wanted it to be over about three songs into it. I just... There's no... Like, on the first part, on the volume one, there was a couple songs on there, a couple moments where I was like, okay, this isn't too bad. I mean, 
It's not the greatest thing in the world. It's not the greatest thing this band's ever done. But it's listenable. It's kind of neat. There's nothing on here in my mind that really stood out to me. as That's kind of neat. And the band is streaming this through iTunes Radio. Just saying. That's how I heard it. Um, that's, that's where I've been listening to it. Um, it's just... I don't know. I, I really... I'm kind of bothered by this album. I wish they would have just put out Volume One, called it a called it a thing. I just feel like this is this was a waste of time to put out this. You know, there's just nothing to these songs at all. They're just so bland, modern radio rock to the most you know bland in boringness that you could possibly get. And that's the thing that bothers me about Five Finger Death Punch is because I feel that they have potential. To be a, a really cool band. To, you know, I just, I just feel that they have more potential than what they they do. I feel that this is such a limited album in both this and Volume 1. They were just so limited. They just played it safe. They, they didn't really feel the need to improve themselves as musicians. Musicians. Musicians and songwriters. I, I just... That's the part that bothers me about Volume 1 and Volume 2, and Volume 2 especially. I mean, I, I, like I said, I wasn't looking for drastic improvement or anything. I was just hoping that it was, it had some cool songs or something like that. And it doesn't. And, uh, I mean, they ended up covering The House of Rising Sun, I, which I believe is by The Animals? I could be wrong on but, but it's that old classic song that everybody knows and loves and that I personally enjoy myself. Um, they, they ended up covering that for this record, which that wasn't too bad. Um, uh, that's probably the, the most enjoyable part of it in my mind. Um, so yeah, it wasn't too bad. I mean, Ivan Moody sounds like Ivan Moody. And there's just, they, they had that five-finger death punch sound on here. I just feel that there's, there's no riffs, there's no solos, there's... There's nothing that hooks you in my mind. Uh, not even the choruses do, because they're just so bland, so stereotypical, so been there, done that in my mind by so many other bands. It's whatever to me. Um, I'm going to get so many comments on this from so many hard-ass Five Finger Death Punch fans like the last time, but hey, I wanted to speak my opinion on this, so... And I, I wanted to review this. So, this, this is... If you're a Five Finger Death Punch fan, you enjoyed Volume 1, you will find enjoyment out of Volume 2. I, I mean, go buy it, support the band, go to their tours, do what you want. And that's, that's completely cool. I say it all the time. If you like what... If you disagree with what I say, if you like something that I don't like, that's cool. You don't have to be an ass about it. Just support the band and just do what you love. Listen to it all the time. Jam that shit as loud as you want. Do whatever. That's cool. I I, I, I would love that. Um, so I'm going to have to give this 6 out of 10. Um, so yeah, Five Finger Death Punch. The wrong side of heaven, righteous side of hell, long album title, volume 2. Coming out November 19th. Check it out. Do whatever you want. See you around.